Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando free to play and I'm on my free to play account. So right now it is time for a brand new event. So we got to register for this new, new event. This new event is called Guild Showdown. So it looks like we have 24 hours to have players of your guild to register for this Guild Showdown. Okay. So apparently it looks like CAE is in Guild Showdown rank 9. So that I think that means that we're going to be going up with some pretty high my guilds. Right? So here it says that uh, 55 consistents required to enter the showdown. So that's that's pretty good. And to enter it, it's pretty simple. You just go to enter or change your lineup. You enter your troops that you're going to be using, your heroes that you're going to be using. You can use turf boosts and army in army uh, increases, meaning uh, you can have more troops. You can put a pop a 50% army increase and you can all those stats will be accounted for when you s register and when you sign up and also your might your current might will be recorded okay let's take a look at some of the rewards that we could possibly get okay so rank one looks like you're going to get some of these chests it's called the showdown trove so and rank one will get six of these chests and each one of these chests will have a possibility of any of these uh, okay items right they're not bad I'm not gonna lie they're 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 okay for for items where you're really not gonna lose anything right so and you get uh, how many shadow cash you get one of these so you can get one of these items which is okay if you rank one obviously you rank uh, up to 16 so everybody's gonna get something because I think there's 16 guilds in each bracket if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at the actual rules and the event format. So this is gonna be kind of a little long, so stay with me, read along with me if you guys want. All right, so the event format. Guilds will be placed into divisions in the guild showdown. New guilds will start from division one. Guilds in division one through six will not be relegated. In division one through five, guilds that finish in the top eight will advance to a higher division. In Division 6, guilds of the top 4 will advance. Okay. Now, guilds in Division 7 or higher will only advance to a higher division if they are ranked in the top 4. Guilds in the bottom 4 will be relegated to a lower division. Okay, so will be demoted. Okay. So, okay, the number of contestants required for each guild depends on the division they are in. Guilds must have enough contestants to participate in the showdown. Okay, so guild uh, division 9 requires 55. If you're in a lower division or a higher division, let me know how many uh, are required for you guys. You know, the more knowledge we have, the more we can share to everybody else, right? Okay. Guilds must be relegated, I'm sorry, guilds will be relegated to a lower division if they do not have enough contestants. Okay, so pretty much if you don't have the required number of people to register, you're going to, the guild, the entire guild is going to suffer for it. Got it. So registration rules. You can only register if your castle is level 9 or above. Okay, makes sense. Upon registration, your active talents, equipment, Army lineup, turf boost, and might will be recorded. Okay, so keep that in mind. Active talents, equipment, army lineup, turf boost, and might will be recorded. Okay, your heroes and troops will not be wounded or killed. That's something good to know. That's good to know for me at least. All right. Each player can only register for one guild. You can change your army lineup at any time during the registration period. If the number of registered contestants exceeds the requirements, players with higher might will be selected ahead of others. Okay, that kind of sucks, but I get it, right? So myself, I'm like, I'm, I'm in the top 70 in the guild, 
and we only need 55, right? So I don't know if it's gonna be 55 and that's it, right? I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna work or if they're just gonna go in order. I'm not really too sure what they mean by that. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow when this actually starts, okay? Grouping. Each group will consist of 16 guilds. Okay, so I was right with 16 guilds. Guilds will be eliminated when they are defeated. The guild that makes it through all four rounds will become the showdown champion. If a guild's opponent is unavailable, they will win uncontested and advance to the next round. Okay, so I guess that means if uh, the guild didn't have enough members register, it's like they, they forfeit that round. Makes sense. I got it. Battles. Players will face contestants from their opponent's guild. The weakest to strongest, might-wise. Okay, keep that in mind. It's might-wise, right? It's you're sending 250, 300, 375k troops at each other, okay? Trap accounts will not do jack shit for you. Because all of you trap accounts, you're fucked. Okay? So all everybody who wants to be a trap, this event, not for you. Okay? So let's see. The weakest or strongest mem might members will do battle in turn. The winner of each battle will face their next opponent with the remaining army. Each battle won equals one event point. The guild that defeats all contestants in their opponent's guild will win and advance to the next round. Players will start off each round with their full army. Okay, which is good. I like that. Things to note. Battle Fury will not be activated by any actions related to the guild showdown. Awesome. Registered armies will not be included in the player's army limit. Okay, that's fine. The player's talents, equipment, turf boosts, army lineup, and might will be based on what is equipped active upon registration. Okay, so whenever you change your lineup or whenever you register, that's when it's going to take your lineup, your stat boost, anything that you add to your account, your gear, all that good stuff. Okay. Boosts from forts and titles will be based on those active when the event starts. Okay, so don't get the idea that, you know, you need to have a fort, a fort boot, a buff, but when you register or you need to have a title when you register, this means that the titles and the fort buffs will only come into effect when the guild showdown has already begun, not when you register, okay? Titles and fort buffs don't come into effect until the showdown starts. Keep that in mind. Rankings and rewards. Registered participants can claim the rewards after the event ends. Okay, pretty basic. Rankings will be based on total event points. If multiple guilds have the same points, the guild with the highest might will win the tie. Okay, well that's kind of unfair, but I guess that's IGG's way of forming a tiebreaker. Okay, brackets. You can view every match in the event bracket. Awesome. Live videos. You can watch the battles live when matches are in progress. Okay, that'd be interesting to watch, right? Uh, replay. After the event ends, battle replays can be viewed on the bracket. Okay, that's going to be pretty cool. So even if you're asleep when the event starts or you're at work, you will still have a chance to go ahead and watch the replay, see how well you did, see who kicked your ass, see who's, whose ass you kicked, you know, so on and so forth, right? Cool. I like it. I like it. So that's the guild showdown. Let me just make sure I have my gear on. Yep. I have my gear on. Let me just make sure I have my, my talents. Yep, I'm good. So I have my stuff ready to go. I have already registered. So myself, I am set. Um, I do have my altar boost. I had some leaders. I unfortunately, didn't have a level 60. But hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? So yeah, that is the guild showdown. That is the registration and pretty much uh, the rules of the guild showdown. And right now, I'm just waiting to see, you know, how exactly it's going to play out for CAE and for myself. I actually want to see if I'm actually going to be able to participate in this event or not. I mean, 
If not, then, you know, that's fine, right? But if I am able to participate, that'd be great to see how I match up with other players similar that are, have a similar might range, which are, let's face it, they're pay-to-play players. I want to see how I rank up against them head-on. No massive armies in their castle to protect them. It's mano a mano, no little bitch trap shit, all right? So I hope everybody registers and it's time to go ahead and pretty much put up or shut up, all right? So hope you guys have fun and let's see who we're gonna be going up against in uh, how many hours? In 22 hours and 47 minutes. So until next time, see you later, bye.